This is our second experiment with the Pi. This down, this blinking light down here is just the internet connection, so we can ignore that. But we call it stop light, and when I start the program, it will go through the turning on the green stop light, then the yellow warning light, then the red light, uh, and go back and forth like that, uh, like a normal stop light cycle. And we've color-coded color -colored, co color the wires such that the red wire controls the red light, the yellow, the yellow light, and the green, the green light. And those are the outputs. Uh, they run over here to the outputs on the Pi, and the Pi is running those directly. And then the black wire is just the ground, of course, uh, for all of them. Got some resistors here to keep from uh, overdrawing the Pi's uh, source. Pi has a limited amount of output current, but it'll run a, an LED and so forth. It'll run relays and, and so on like that. So that is our experiment. It's uh, kind of fun to have a computer that's very easy to connect to uh, some physical output device that you can play with. And so, okay, let me show you how we did this. Let's take a look and see what this code does. Once again, the things that begin with the pound are comments. They're not part of the program. They're just for me later on when I want to remember what this program is doing. These are comments, like little notes to myself. And the first comment is, it's just a uh, stoplight control based on time. The next comment, it's going to be green, yellow, red sequence, just like the United States, uh, Europe, and Asia oftentimes do things a little differently. We're going to use pin 7, 11, and 13. We're going to turn them off and we're going to run them at 3.3 volts. And I use pin 6 as a ground for common to all these. These are the same routines we used last time, the I.O. routine, uh, the time routine because we want to use this sleep function. So these are external libraries, these are external functions we want to tell the program we're going to use. And then we're going to come down here and I define my own little routines so I would not have to produce the code over and over again. We're going to do the same thing over and over again. So I just made a function so I can write the code one time and then I can use this light on function, tell it which pin and how much time, and it'll do this thing over and over again without having to rewrite the code over and over again. So what do these functions do? Okay, well light on is pretty obvious, it turns the light on. I'm going to tell it which pin, so for example pin 7, and I'm going to tell it how much time. It could be 2 seconds, it could be 10 seconds, but I can tell it whatever. Then, the, then this little routine starts up and it says, okay, output to pin whatever I told it, say pin 7. I'm going to turn it high, which means I'm going to turn it on. And then I will sleep, I will wait, I will let the computer catch up, if you will, with the hardware, or the hardware catch up with the computer for a certain amount of time, whatever I said, 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay. Then we're going to go to the light off function. Again, it'll be the same pin, uh, time, and it will go low, and it will go to sleep for a certain amount of time, whatever I told it. And then that's the end of my user-defined functions, if you will. Okay, so the next statement is the board num the pin numbers in the board. And this is kind of a standard thing. Uh, just that's the line you use if you use the Pi standard numbering sequence on the on the output pins. And yes, that's what I'm always going to do. So, but you just have to have that line. Okay, I set up pin seven as an output. I set up pin eleven as an output. And I set up pin thirteen as an output. That means I'm going to output voltage 3.3 volts on those pins. Uh, and all of this up here is just setting up the situation. I haven't done any real operating yet. I haven't made any lights blink or anything yet. I've just set everything up so that the computer knows what it's supposed to do when I start the real functions. Okay, so when I come down here, I've got this loop, and I'm going to go from 1 to 5. It says 0 to 5, but it's going to loop 5 times before it quits. And it's going to execute all of this stuff that's been indented right in here. And it's going to do it 5 times, and then it'll quit. And what it's going to do is, the first time it's going to turn the light on, pin 7, for 2 seconds. And then it's going to do the light off, pin 7, for 0.1 seconds. So it's going to wait, let the hardware catch up. Then we're going to turn on pin 11, which is the yellow light, for 2 seconds. And then we'll turn the pin uh, 11 off, yellow light again, for 0.1 seconds. Let things catch up. 
Then we're going to turn the red light on, pin 13, for two seconds, and then turn the red light off, pin 13, for 0.1 seconds. Loop through here five times, and when it's done, it will fall out and print on the screen, done. And then this last statement is always good. It uh, resets the Pi back to the original condition before the program started. And that's it. So that's our stoplight program. Well, I hope you found it useful and interesting.